back, everyone. My name is Patrick. You're watching the Oilers Rundown. Well, I think we all enjoyed that Connor McDavid five-point performance last night. He, of course, makes history, hitting 903 points. He does it in 602 games, only behind Wayne Gretzky, Mario Lemieux, Mike Bossy, and Peter Stastny for that record. So, Connor, just being Connor, a five-point performance, helps the team do a six-game winning streak. He's the best player in the world, and last night just proved it once again. So congrats to Connor, an amazing achievement. He had this interview on Oilers TV following the game. Check it out. Connor, you not only hit the 900-point milestone, but you surpass it. You've done it all in an Oilers uniform. How special is that? Uh, yeah, really special. Obviously, it's a, a big number. Uh, hopefully a lot more to go, and hopefully a lot more in an Oilers uniform. When you hear those words from Connor, you just can't help but get excited. We all know it's too early to celebrate anything yet. He's got a couple years to go on that contract, but we all hope Connor McDavid will be a career Edmonton Oiler and eventually bring that Stanley Cup back to Edmonton. But one step at a time here, the Oilers are finding their way now. Like I said, six-game winning streak up to 19-15-1 and one on the season. So it's looking up right now. Let's hope the boys can keep it going They've got a bit of a break here until Saturday when they take on the Ottawa Senators. We did get some more news on Dylan Holloway today. Head coach Chris Knobloch revealed yesterday that Sam Gagne and Dylan Holloway were expected to be available for Saturday's game against the Ottawa Senators. Dylan Holloway was activated from long-term injured reserve today and loaned to the Bakersfield Condors. So it looks like we will have to wait a little while for Dylan Holloway. I imagine the Oilers do want to get Holloway back up to game speed and probably the best place to do that is with the Bakersfield Condors. Puckpedia had this update following the Dylan Holloway activation. The Edmonton Oilers used 202,000 of long-term injured reserve. They now have 609,000 projected cap space with 21 players. They can fit a $1.1 million annual cap hit today, or $2.79 million at the deadline. Their projected cap hit is $83.1 million. That means with no more roster moves this year, 407,000 of the performance bonuses earned this year will not carry over to next year. For example, with no more moves, Connor Brown's $3.225 million bonus will be a $2.818 million cap carryover charge next season. Now that all, of course, sounds good in theory, but we know the Edmonton Oilers are going to use every last cent of cap space that they have to try to improve the team this year. So I imagine this doesn't come into play. I think the Edmonton Oilers will still have to deal with Connor Brown's full bonus next season, but if they can find a way to improve the team and save a bit of cap space, even better. Well, that's all the big news to cover for now, guys. We are still expecting some kind of announcement on goaltender Olivier Rodrigue here, possibly this week. We know the Edmonton Oilers want to give him an opportunity at some point this month. Looking at the schedule here, the Oilers have Ottawa on Saturday, Chicago next Tuesday, Detroit next Thursday, and then Montreal the following Saturday. This is a stretch of games where it might make sense to give Rodrigue some starts, see what they have there. So possibly we see an Olivier Rodrigue recall before Saturday, if not for Saturday, possibly before Tuesday. But we'll keep an eye on it. Maybe something happens, maybe it doesn't, but we should have some more roster news here before Saturday. Like I said, I think Sam Gagne will be back in and one of Adam Ernie or possibly Connor Brown comes out of the lineup against Ottawa. But as soon as we have that news, I will let you know. Let me know your thoughts on everything Oilers in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.